take the two producers out and yeah. I've already heard directors here saying my message is this, that or the other, but there wasn't a message here and there wasn't MD in the film saying this is my message. What I wanted to do was to accompany on a journey a certain character and it's an individual who has a certain arrogance who's been successful in life and has a degree of pride and he's somebody who has the kind of problems that his social class experiences. I didn't want to make an anti-bourgeois film. I wasn't trying to point the finger of blame at him for his social class or anything like that. I just wanted to see where this journey might take me and what I could see about the way in which he was going to tackle his relationship problems and how he would come at them. So he's open, but he makes all these confessions to these women. It makes them very fragile as well. And, and I like this image of the dormant elements when the film draws to an end, I think actually you all realize that at the end it wasn't Beatrice who was ill throughout the entire film, but rather it was him who was ill throughout the entire film. I gave Beatrice very little dialogue and I didn't really present her psychology and I did that on purpose and that was to move the film away from a standard kind of news story, a small story, the focus is on a man who has to change his relationship to what's around him. And if we'd seen too much of Beatrice's private life, if we'd known her too, too well, then we'd have got off track and focused more on Beatrice. I wanted to keep the focus on a man who's working upon himself and on his inner being. I don't know if you want to add anything on that. Well, yes, I think that's really spot on. This idea of dormant elements, the dark, shadowy sides of him which he doesn't have access to, and perhaps Beatrice, in a sense, is Boris, in a way. For me, it was, um, when I read the script, it was uh, something that really touched me, and um, I loved Denise's writing, and it was, you can go in all different directions. And when I talked to Denis about it, we exchanged ideas, and uh, we, we, we had time to shape the character, he told me that it was kind of a passive character and I didn't think like that. I thought it was something great because I really had to uh, feed her, uh, made her alive even though she has no dialogues. And so it was, it was a challenge, but then I had, you know, I had eight months to think about it and, you know, I was with the wonderful actors oh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, James as my husband and, you know, it was just... Uh, it was wonderful to play, and it was wonderful to be directed by Denis. He really, um, even though it was kind of, um, I thought it would be rigid because Denis is such a well-prepared director. Uh, and, you know, he told me those are the scenes and those are the shots and it's going to be like this. And I said, okay, so there's no improv whatsoever. But then I found this amazing uh, freedom in my inner work for Beatrice, and, and that was, then I was like, wow, I never thought it could be possible, so it was, for me, it, it, it was wonderful, she, she, she's wonderful, I just loved playing her. Well, of course, um, the most important thing about this film for me was working with Denis, I, um, as he mentioned before, I met him for years before um, on this festival, um, but also, when I read the script, I thought that um, it was very important. Like the topic of it for me, the, the essence of the script was the conscience, um, and yeah, that you have before other people, and how your actions affect them, and that was um, that I think is something that every person is um, knows. I think and is essential to to understand for all of us. I think. If you have a script with the Prime Minister of Canada, <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not boring, you know, you need to think about a good choice for a cast. I thought, okay, I can't ask a f 
I could, but I wouldn't want to ask a French Canadian because sometimes our prime ministers are very, very bilingual or even just they only speak English, you know. So I thought, okay, I won't ask a French Canadian. Then I thought, okay, should I just call a Toronto actor we don't know just to play a bland f prime minister, you know? So I thought, no, let, let's go somewhere. Let's find a superstar or a cult figure. <laughs> and then, okay, obviously you were not like right away Bruce LaBruce. I, I, was, I was dreaming of so many people. And, and then I'm like, wow, Bruce LaBruce, you know? I know he's not an actor. We can... We can agree on that. Yeah. We can. <laughs> we, I was a bit afraid to put a non-professional around a bunch of professionals because sometimes the... Me too. ...doesn't work. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, for the people who know who Bruce LaBruce is, it's going to be a great moment in the film. If you don't know him, he's just a very nice prime minister. <laughs> That's it. So if you know him, you know him. If you don't, you don't. But I don't know. It was so obvious and fun. And Maybe we should do like a Freaky Friday thing where he comes to... <laughs> English Canada and makes a movie and I take his place in Quebec and make a, a Quebec one. I don't know if I would do your <laughs> movies. But. but yeah, I was terrified because uh, I'm not an actor and I've only acted in my own films, but I'm a huge fan of, of Denis' films and I'm a huge fan of Quebecois cinema in general. And you know, Denis makes films, I think, in the tradition of my, some of my favorite Quebecois films, like filmmakers like, you know, uh, Francis Mankiewicz and Micheline Langteau and Claude Jutra and Paul Almond and, you know, Paul Almond. So I, I was like, you know, thrilled to do it, even though I was very trepidatious working with all the, you know, working in a company of, uh, of really professional actors. But uh, yeah, uh, Denise films are definitely, um, uh, I think the most, some of the most cutting, cutting edge and interesting films uh, coming out of Canada. So. I remember we exchanged some emails and I thought you would never say yes, or at least you would think about it. And then I remember in the same day, he said, okay, I need to do that. I, well, I, I'm I need, terrified, but I need to do it. I okay. needed the work, you know. <laughs> <laughs>